Um, but a couple of questions coming through. Uh, Gigmaster asked, what was, uh, and you don't have to say where, on the air. You can tell me afterwards. Tell us but afterwards, what, yeah. But <laughs> What is the biggest nugget you've ever found? Um, yeah. Uh-oh, uh, look at the grin on your face there. It was a long time ago. I, I was in Northern California at the Lost Dutchman's Mining Association camp on yeah. the Scott River which it, it was really close to the mouth where it enters the Klamath River by uh, Hamburg, California. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Are so you see- we talked about gold porn earlier. Yep. <laughs> and nailed it. It's throwing some up on the screen right now. I wish you nailed guys could see it. it. Uh, Ed, are you the- kidding me? No. Yeah. What's that- the size of that? What did it come in at? Uh, that was Gosh. about five ounces. Hold that up one more time. One more time, Ed. It's about the size of a... Avocado. There you go. Maybe? Uh, it, it was pretty thin. It, my other picture of it's in my shop, but my gosh. it laid in my palm. What could I get that I way? can't, I mean... But how, but how do you even find something like that? Like right. it's not, it, it didn't oh. come in your pan. It didn't fall in your pan. <laughs> no, no. And I actually found it with the assistance of two metal detectives. Wow. Uh, a Fisher gold bug and a MD-20, which is a handheld detector, kind of like a pinpointer. Mm. And um, I, I was there. If you see on the shirt I'm wearing, it says Paystreak Enterprises and Ed. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like my dad's in the back because they were still living in Anaheim and it was 12 hours for them to come up, 12 hours for me to drive down. Yeah. And at that time, I had three young children. My youngest was two, so this was in 93 when I found this. And I was at this LDMA. It's a patented property that's a club property for the Lost Mm -hmm. Detriments Mining Association on Mm -hmm. Scott River, on the Scott River box. And I'm like, hey, Dad, can I get away from my boots for a while? You know, and he's like, yeah, have at it. I'll watch your stuff. And so I I grabbed the gold bug. I grabbed the MD-20. And I'm walking the the property. And I come across this hole that looked like a Volkswagen bug could fit in it. And in that area the Sisicues in Northern California has a very, very rich gold, his gold mining history. And I, I look at this hole and all I can think is no one going to dig a hole that big if they're not finding right. something to give them the motivation to dig, you know, to, you yeah. know, we're, we're not digging just a little plug or a, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you you know uh, to get a target, we're we're we move quite a bit of material, and they moved yards of material. But it was no longer a day claim. There were no buckets around. There was no equipment around. There was nothing telling any of the other members that it was a day claim and still being worked. And I have no problem being a hole hopper. If (laughs) it isn't marked as a day claim, I'm going to jump in a hole because, hey, someone just did a lot of work that I don't have to. That's right. Um, Unfortunately, at that time, I had a stay-at-home wife and three young kids, and I'm over a 1,000 miles from home. Close, I think. I'd have to check. But <laughs> I'm a long ways from home. Twelve hours. Right? Wow. I'm a long ways from home. Um, so I I ended up selling it the same weekend I found it. Wow. And at that time gold wasn't even three hundred an ounce. 
if I had that nugget now, oh my goodness. boys, right. oh my god, Ooh, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> Gold, gold, thousand an ounce at this time, <clears throat> believe, and still, I believe so. Wow, uh, yeah, but, but Big Master said biggest. four grams was his best, four grams was his best, which is amazing. <laughs> four grams, nice, nice, that's very great, nice. yeah, very nice, respectable. Uh, hey, that's definitely respectable, yeah. You know, I this, this, though, guys, is my once in a lifetime, sure. Sure, and absolutely. It, it was kind of a blessing in disguise, you know. Yeah. And it, how? It, so it was found in that hole that you had come yeah, up, come upon. Yeah, and yeah. I, how I much work did I, you have to do then for it? Nowhere near as much as the people <laughs> <laughs> the whole floor. Yeah. Have, have you oh, ever my gosh, seen right? the cartoon where you see a guy picking away <laughs> in in the mine, and then? He's it's right like there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And he gives up when he's like inches. Yeah, that's what happened, man. From a bonanza. Uh, Somebody man. dug a Volkswagen out of the ground and then you just come in and you're like, hmm, okay. Can you swoop it up? <laughs> I, I was scanning the walls of the hole and there was a nice sized boulder, probably three feet in circumference. Nice size boulder. And I was getting a hit with the gold bug. And, you know, I don't know all the beeps and all the... At that time, it wasn't... And I and no numbers and stuff to go off of. I forget what they call those numbers. Um, but... Your VDIs. It, yeah, the VDI yes, number. The VDI no readout, VDI yeah. readout. Exactly. Right. And, and it's pitches and squeaks and stuff. And... All I knew is there was a target because it's making noise. I didn't know if it was a hot rock or a, a railroad spike or anything. I didn't know until I broke out the MD-20. And I just kept following the tone, and it got better and better and louder and louder. And next thing I know, I'm... I I wanted to yell so flipping <laughs> loud, but I clammed up. I uh, I clammed up. I my heart's pounding a mile a second, and I I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe this. I want to yell out Eureka, you know? <laughs> Woohoo! You're right. Yeah, do that. You're supposed to by state law, I think, right? If it's over two ounces, you have to. <laughs> that, that's mandatory. <laughs> no, it, it was like I, I was kid caught. It was like I was a kid caught in the cookie jar. I kind of like, oh, precious. And I looked, <laughs> I looked around this shoulder and looked around my other shoulder and who's around. And then I took it to my dad. <laughs> but it wasn't even my wife that got the first look at it. It was my dad. And then I got it as cleaned uh, cleaned up as I could and I sold it that very weekend. Wow. 